holder of heroism. In any city, any country, go to a comic book shop and find the owner. When you find him, ask to speak to the one known as the holder of heroism. If he gives a sad smile, you are in the right place. He will take you around the building to a door in the back that appears to be a delivery entrance. Knock five times and the door will open. When the door opens, the inside will be pitch black. Should you enter, the room will light up and reveal an empty room with white walls. If you wait, an Asian girl with a tattoo of a moon across her face will appear in the middle of the room. As soon as she does, visualize the largest explosion you can imagine. A nuke will not be big enough, but a supernova might be. If you are fast enough and visualize the image properly, she will clutch her head and vanish. If you falter or are too slow, she will shred your mind like paper. A few minutes later, a tall man with a tattoo of a star on his face will appear. He will spring at you and attempt to choke you to death. If you are decent at hand-to-hand -hand combat, or if you have a knife, you might stand a chance at defeating him. If you give him a mortal wound, he will disappear. Once the man is gone, a few minutes later a robed figure will appear. Its face will be hidden from you, but it will be carrying a small set of scales. It will then take off its hood and stare at you with its piercing but empty eye sockets. If you have been pure in thought and deed for the past year and a day, it will put its hood back on. Otherwise you will be forced to relive your sins for an eternity. If it puts its hood back on, then ask it, What happened to our heroes? It will lift its left sleeve slightly, and what appears to be a flap of skin will fly out and attach to your head. From then on, you will have a tattoo of a crescent moon superimposed over a brightly shining star on your face. The tattoo is object number 275 of 538. Its sole purpose is to bring the heroes back. It is up to you when and if to summon them again for the last time.